previously on Fire Emblem Three Houses. Professor, I'm happy to see you here. I'm happy to see you too, Annette. Everybody's been asking about you. You're really popular with the students. <laughs> Annette, could you sing me the Smash song? Just for old time's sake. <laughs> what? Here, I'll stop. Colors weave into a spire! <laughs> and now back to Garrick Mock Monitor. Sorry to interrupt, Professor. Ah, oh, Majma, go away. I don't have time to fight you right now. No, nah, no, nah, I'm not here for you today, Professor. Today, I'm here for the small fry. I believe his name is Kuzuryu-chan. Uh, wait, what? Me? What's going on here? Ah, that is Kiryu-chan. Well, seems like a good time to bring up step four of how to be the best Yakuza you can be. Oh my god, you guys are still doing this? So on occasion, and by which I mean at least five times a day, Majma is gonna show up and he's gonna want to fight you. You don't know when, you don't know where, and you don't know how, but it's gonna happen. Glad to see you learn a few things over these past few years, Kiryu-chan. Ah, Principal Kiryu, if you say so, I'll do my best. That a boy. Hey, wait a minute. This kid's got an eye patch on. It looks a lot like my eye patch. Oh uh, yeah, I lost my eye during a killing game. So I wear this eye patch in memory of a legend of the greatest Yakuza that ever was. I think his name was Goro or something. For God's sake, you idiot, I'm that Goro or something. Oh my God, really? Damn, senpai. Hey, you know what that means? You're my new pupil now. Wait, what? Ah, uh, teach me, sensei. Yeah, now I to you to help me kick Kiryu's ass. Hey, wait a second. Sorry, right, Prince will care you, but I gotta do this for my role model. Damn it, I thought I was your role model. Fine, have it your way. This fight won't stop until we've destroyed every physics object in this room. You're on. How about you, Kiryu chan Now you're getting it. Ah! Oh, for God's sake, guys, not my freaking desk! Hey, y'all, it's your boy, Bizzleed. Back with some more mother flipping fire up from three houses. When we last left off, my daddy died! God damn it! And now I'm sad. I'm sad, Bizzleed! God damn it! Damn it, stupid so this that dumb bitch not only going back one goddamn time. We could have tried 30 more times. All right, we're gonna try so this. Pizzly, pizzly, it was impossible, okay? It was like Cyril's hit rate and never would have landed. No, you don't even know that. All right, you don't even know it's so this. Anyway, I'm gonna be sad this whole month. <laughs> I'm gonna be super duper mopey. Oh, poor Bizzleade. He needs a serious hug and he sees that hug to be from Dimitri. Fuck everybody up. But oh yeah, that was rough. It was interesting. You guys actually point out to me that one of the very few times in the game you can actually um, get a negative affinity with uh, Geralt is at the beginning of the game when the Garrick Mock people ask you, oh, uh, how do you know Geralt? And one of the things you can say is uh, he's a stranger to me, which does actually decrease his affinity. But it's sort of like it ties back into him sort of seeing you as this emotionless child, right? Like he did, like it's it's interesting how they've really actually made this whole silent protagonist thing like a character trait of his, in which he just doesn't show much or any emotion. So hearing you actually say, "Oh, he's my father," or or whatever, which does approve his affinity, he probably saw that as, "Oh, he actually does love me," you know, or like see me as more than just this guy right because his whole life he probably was never entirely sure because he never really saw any emotion on you that's really interesting I, I like that i like that they took something that was originally meant to be just this kind of stereotype for a blank slate character and they actually made it uh something that other people notice you know like that's an actual thing that people take notice of so most of the time in these other games it's just i mean they're meant as, as a blank slate so you can you know insert yourself into them which is just fine um but i think this idea it, it, it makes that archetype into a sort of engaging and uh sympathetic uh personality you know like that comes relatable and understandable and interesting you know and i think that's that's really good and so it's just one of the many many uh, amazing character writing and design choices they've done for this game. Seriously, it's just the characters in this game are so fucking good, guys. Like, god damn. That's what makes these paralogues so good. They keep just bringing different combinations of characters together to make it even better. You know, like once I didn't know I needed. But anyway, I, last episode, I, I'm going to tell you right now, was you guys posted so many good comments. So many good, so many interesting comments. So many, like that That one I mentioned was actually one of them, which I, I, I'll give a little, a little mini shout out to. Uh, that was Pixel whatever who uh, pointed that out but it was really hard to pick a comment of the day and because there was there were, there were helpful ones there were funny ones there were so many like last episode you guys were just fantastic but i think i gotta go with i gotta go with ace breaks time and space who last episode said uh girl how romantic of you to invite me here professor have you heard about the legend of the goddess tower what should we wish for busily drops to his knees oh goddess please make dimitri gaya 
Wow. <laughs> oh my god, that's so fucking good. I love that I basically used this girl. <laughs> I brought a girl with me to the goddess tower just so I could make a wish to make Demetri gayer. <laughs> oh, Bissily, I love you too. Get out of my way, bitch. <laughs> oh, it's so good. So good. Ace, thank you for your hilarious comments. Seriously, you had some stiff competition this last episode. So you should be very proud of your comment. <laughs> and it's for that reason you are comments of the day. Seriously, there were so many good comments last episode. It was really hard to pick just one. God, I'm just I'm, I'm still looking through these comments. Just, like I've just been harding everything in this comment list because everything's so fucking good. It's just a lot of like <laughs> a lot of jokes about Gerald's death. Apparently the loading screen at one point pointed out that a tutorial about losing units <laughs> right after Gerald died. Wow. Way to have some serious tact there, loading screen. And Swolfie, I'll, I'll give you a shout out for that one because that was your comment. Oh my God. Just too much fucking fun. Anyway, I've seen a number of you guys say that I was, I'm getting a bit behind in my supports. I, I thought actually it was doing pretty good, but apparently like, I think I'm supposed to be trying to get people to B rank. I thought it was really just getting them to C rank. I thought that was like, sort of my my goal here before this is like I'm, I'm guessing part two of the game right it's supposed to happen after the the cutoff point for the paralogs which is like february 22nd that's kind of what i'm thinking at least so i've been trying to do that but uh god it's not good with raya yet I'm trying to get people to, to just get them to see rank like get my foot in the door i don't know if it's like it sounds like after that point like some supports will get cut off if you don't get them I thought to C rank, but maybe it's B rank. That's, that's what sort of I've been trying to do. You guys are trying to say that I should be, I should be trying to um get my uh stick my units together more in fights. I, I'm I'm thinking more, I guess, along the lines of just trying to win the fight than I am maybe like grouping them together. It also does get kind of hard just because some characters just move so much further than other ones, you know. Like all oh, the the horseback guys just they go fucking flying across the map, and Ingrid, Ingrid can go anywhere, so it's it's kind of hard to do that without basically making your really far moving characters just not go as far so they could just stick to the other people and it's it's kind of tough i don't know it, it's, it's all sort of confusing because trying to understand like how the support happens like they don't sometimes it happens when they have to be right next to each other or times it happens like they're not that close to each other like the, the, i'll be attacking an enemy from like a few spaces away and the guy i'll still get support with them and i don't quite know how i got that support with them i, I don't know it's a little, a little, a little confusing. I'm sure there's a, a rhyme or reason to it, but I haven't figured it out yet. There's a lot of shit going on in these games. But yeah, I think you guys are saying most I should try to be sticking with my blue lines group, which is what I was doing at the beginning. And then everyone's like, Nico, you should be doing it with everybody else too. So this is, this is, you know, this is basically what happened in Persona. This is what happens in every Persona like game where Nico, you got to do it with everybody. Okay. Come on. Come on. Get your head out your ass. All right, you're acting like you never played this game before. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, God. Remember all those numerous Fire Emblem Let's Plays I've done? Jesus, you think I would have known what I'm doing by now? I'm just going to go ahead and just say right now. For those, I'm sure someone's going to take that seriously and be like, like, where the fuck are the Fire Emblem Let's Plays? I'm kidding. All right, I haven't played a single Fire Emblem game. This is my first one. And first time playing this. So a few things I probably want to work on then. I'm, I'm going to probably want to try to get Gilbert and Dudu together. Since this is, this is going to be the only time I can get Dudu's stuff. Dimitri, oh, Dimitri and Alois is next. I, I think they should be good. I did ha eat with them once together. I think if they do it again, then we should be fine. And I think everybody else is pretty good. I mean, I guess there's, I guess there's, there's Sedith, but I, I really didn't plan for that, to be honest. Um, So I think with Sedith, I think really what I want to worry about is him and, uh, and Flane, I, I guess. I don't know. Fuck. If it's really trying to get to everyone to B rank, that's just not gonna fucking happen. But I'll try at least from this point forward to, to stick people together. Apparently that's that where you get the most, most of your affinity with people with is by uh, fighting next to them. So it just wasn't even really, honestly, a thing that I thought about too much. So I was just like, I was just trying to, I was thinking strategically in terms of beating the enemy and not dying. Oh, and getting people the, you know, getting people levels and stuff too. Okay. I think, I think I've got everybody's certifications by this point. Um, I got my soul master, thank God. Which maybe, maybe then I can actually uh, beat that tournament now. I'm, I'm hoping. I, I don't know though. It, it kind of depends. I think I don't think it actually affected my attack power at all. At least not yet. Yeah. Actually, I don't know if I'll be able to do it yet. Eh? Still, but we'll see. Maybe if I equip, equip that like critical strike ring, maybe that would help. I could probably get critical strikes in, in these fights. I think I would. Actually, that, that might be a good idea. Okay, am I good to go then? I think I am. We got a whole bunch of shit going on today, so let's go ahead and explore. Wait for Suthus to load in here. If you must weep, then weep. I shall be here for you. 
<laughs> that won't be necessary, child. <laughs> Get out of my room. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it would be ridiculous to not feel anything after something like that. Go on and let it out. I am here. Oh, that's really sweet. That's super, that's super sweet. So this is kind of like your little buddy. <gasps> Wait, what's happening? Oh, what? Did we like fade to black assuming that I like cry on her shoulder or something? While she like consoled me. Oh my God. That would've been really fucking cute if they actually showed that. Or just hear me go, ah, 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 settle this, settle this. Okay, okay, okay. You're, you're, you're putting your wet nose on my expensive dress. Basically, ah, settle this. You said I could console you. This is too much consoling. Oh, that's cute though. I like that. See, all these characters are so fucking cute. God. Uh, oh, an owl feather. Oh, never mind. Today's gonna be a good day after all. <laughs> is Bernie not in her room? I don't think she is. Where the fuck is she? <gasps> She's over here. What the fuck? Not in the fuck, Bernie. You left your hidey hole. I'm so proud of you. Maybe she's lear learned there's more to life than playing Xbox 360 in your room all day. God, this whole month is gonna be just sad music, isn't it? God dang it. Uh, uh probably someone who likes rare weapons. Fuck. Ah, uh, who was standing here? Was it Felix? Maybe. Oh, God. Uh, animal bones. Long someone enjoy weird games. God, this shit is so fucking obscure. This could be people from my own house that I don't even know anymore. You gotta keep yourself active during tough times, Professor. Even if it seems impossible. That's how I got through it when I lost my parents. Aww. If you need help with anything, just come and see me. Eating and training are my specialties. Everyone's such a fucking buddy. That's sweet. And Casper's gonna be like, Hey, what's up, bro? Want a duel? That's how I make people feel better. I'm not even close to being strong enough. I mean, Gerald was so much stronger than me, but even he... That's enough. I can't dwell on the past. There's no way to know what my future holds, but I do know one thing. Whatever happens, I have to make my own way in this world. I have to keep pushing so I can grow even stronger. Yeah, that, that way, Cass, but go ahead and just make it all about you. Any of this stupid that's shit it. yours? What's, the What's this? Dimitri, I didn't even see you in the corner there. Professor, welcome back. I was... We all were... <sighs> You've been on our minds. And you are mine. Know that your enemies are my enemies. I will do all I can to help you find justice. There is no one else I can... My strength is yours alone. I will fight as you command. I will kill anyone should you ask it of me. Okay, all right. Let's take it down a couple of notches there, Dimitri. That's sweet of you, but Lost. don't go killing Lost anybody time. yet. Not yet. Unless that crazy bitch Monica, in which case you can slice her in half. And you will have my blessing. Yay, Professor! Yay! <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and give this, uh, this fucking tournament thing a try again. Put on the crit ring. The crit. And maybe this will help. I don't know. I just want to beat this dumb tournament. It's been sitting here for months now. They have a 48%. Well, actually, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter if, I, if they miss me a bunch. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, oh, finally. Yes. It's been 84 years. Now the next guy's going to be an even bigger buff, buffer guy. That's actually just right. In this class, though, I do get extra bonuses with my class. Fuck. You fuck well. Jesus. From all the little passives and stuff. Oh, God. This guy's hit fucking hard. Oh, shit. I should have healed myself. I'm a fucking idiot. Damn it. Now I'm sad again. I failed. For just half a second, I forgot that I don't heal in between fights. Oh, fuck this shit. Oh, eat. Ass wizard. Oh, God. There we go. A chance to grow. All right, now who I fight? Another generic student who seems to be even weaker than the other ones for whatever reason. Uh, go ahead and heal myself though. Die, other student. Ah, oh, he's on a horse though. Ah. Is that? Oh God, it's fucking Lorenz. Okay, seriously. The, oh, fuck you, Lorenz. Get out of my way. My dad just died. You're supposed to let me win. Ah! <laughs> what the shit? Ah! Why was the first guy the hardest guy out of everybody? They put, the, they put a tank at the beginning. That's a dick move game. 
All right, I finally beat this. Thank God. You've done me a great service. You've done me a great service by beating my ass. Yay. Finally done. I get rid of this blue icon on my map now. And of course, we also have the other tournament for uh, for the regular people. Get it. I do get an advanced seal, which I think I want to do. Uh, ooh, we don't have Bernie do it because then she'll get uh, motivation. I think. I think? Did they get motivation for this? Maybe. I hope they do. Let's go ahead and check on my planties. Uh, light. <laughs> Why? Wow. Immediately read that as light purple. <laughs> Colors that end in purple. What is light purple? Belongs probably belongs to someone who likes fashion. Probably. Re wait. No, it was Manuela. That was in here. Um, someone takes care of their long hair. Is there another person in here? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna find something that belongs to Monica. No, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Toss it in the trash. How's my yield? Probably not amazing. Because this combination wasn't uh, super great. Oh, yeah. Fruit of life. Cool. I did get something, though. Um, all right. Let me just look up. Because this seems kind of like fucking random. Like, what's a good combination of plants? Okay. I've seen most things just say, just put a bunch of the same ones together. I did see some of you in the comments that say that, like, there are some that actually work better with uh, speci specific combinations. Um, all right. Well, this one worked pretty well. I can't forget I have all these stat boosting items I need to use, by the way. It is a shame what happened to Gerald. I am sorry. There are no words. Leave some flowers on his grave for me. Oh. Actually, I wonder, is that his... Is, is he ever in the graveyard now? I spotted Leone somewhere. Oh, there she is. Oh, God. She's... Oh, she's gonna be fucking broken about this. Gerald's gone. He's gone. And we'd only just reunited. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sure this is even harder on you, but I just can't. I can't believe. Oh, it's okay, buddy. Someone want to come? Someone or any of this? Some no. She's gonna be one of the few times I can walk into Bernie's room, right? Yeah. Look at this. <gasps> she got a teddy bear. <laughs> That's right. I forgot. She had a little. She had a little Paddington bear inside of her room. An introduction to magic. Probably someone who's not good at magic. Ah. Uh, God, I really should start memorizing wherever fucking everybody stands every every week. I'm so sorry. I never quite know what to say at times like these. Me neither. So I usually just stand here blankly. Just don't push yourself too hard too soon. It's okay to allow yourself to be sad right now. Losing someone dear to you. Well, each loss is unique, but it's a feeling I know very well. Yeah. Her fiance, i.e. Felix's brother, right? That said, Professor, I... Oh, it's nice oh. that everyone's so sympathetic to oh. you, though. Except for Casper. Oh. Fuck Casper, right? Oh, no. Oh, no. Can't keep a coot. Ah, I need a hug. Professor, thank you for all you have done for us. Nothing to report today. Oh, what the hell? Can't keep a good Don't you fucking start crying, all right? You start crying. I'm going to start crying. Oh, that's all I had to say. Oh, man, I don't know about you guys, but I feel I feel a little thirsty for vengeance, all right? I think we need something to put a smile on all our faces. <laughs> we need to go find a motherfucker and kill the ass. Whether it's for killing Demetrius parents or killing my parent or fucking doing some shit. I don't know. All I know is that somebody needs to demon die today. I gotta find me a good weapon. <laughs> I gotta find me a good pointy thing. Yes. But first, I must buy all the bait. All of it. I think this one all of it. Oh, you guys also point out, by the way, uh, I was getting umbral steel mixed up with this. I thought I thought this is what I could uh, what I could buy in the shop was umbral steel. It's actually black sand steel. So uh, umbral steel is actually really good. It's actually what you use to uh, repair your weapon and uh, your, your hero's relics and stuff. So uh, whoops. <laughs> My bad. Didn't, uh, didn't realize that. Oh, well. God, I really wish they told you how many you had of each item in the shop menu. Like, seriously, that's the most, one of the most basic of basic Turn things that I can't believe the game doesn't do. Hey, welcome. Welcome, boy. Sorry to hear about you your dead dad, boy. You have a good eye. 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 I think you're just kind of talking me up here, man. I'm trying to make you feel better, all right? I know your dad died. Shut up. What we got for the fish thing today? Golden fish. Time to get rich quick, bitch. This is actually the only thing for fish this month, isn't it? Oh, wait. No, this one on uh, the next one. Uh, oh, this is the mystery fish. Which you can get the rainbow one, which is... I think it's all right. I mean, it's, I, th I think I've already gotten it. And it basically just gives you the boost when you cook. But I almost never cook. So I think it's kind of less useful. Although you might be able to sell it for a decent amount. But even then, it's like, eh. Weather cloak. 
Belongs to someone who battles enemies outdoors. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Is it? Oh, oh, it's uh, Catherine. I remember Catherine was standing here. But battle somebody outdoors. Isn't that literally everybody at this school? I think I just ran by somebody. Oh. Uh, the other night, I, I had the honor of sharing a drink with Gerald. I had, had the honor of sharing my bed with Gerald. <laughs> he was pretty tactless, honestly. He could be blunt at times, but... Get out of here, fake gatekeeper coon. He always looked like such a proud, happy father whenever he spoke of you. Shut up. Thank you, but shut up. Pegasus! It's like someone who values chivalry, probably Ingrid. Meow! Ah, oh, God damn it! What? What, Mr. Kitty? What? I don't have time for you and your bullshit today. Kitty convention? My dad died. Don't you fucking know that? Of course you wouldn't, because you don't pay attention to any of the damn times. You don't never listen to anybody but yourself and your growling tummy. We shouldn't be growling because you eat like 30 fucking my fish a day. God damn it, I hate all of you. I fucking hate all of you. No, no, not you. All right, no. You don't say that. You don't get to say that, all right? No, you shut up. You shut up. <laughs> Mr. Kitty Egg sends his arm to me, and I give him a big old bear hug. I know it'll be okay, all right? I just, I just want to stay like this a little longer, okay? <laughs> okay, I might admit, I might have been slightly overreacting when I walked over here. I'm just lashing out because I'm a little angry and I want to murder the people who killed my dad. But, you know, just regular shit. Maybe you guys aren't nearly as selfish as I've been pretending you are. <laughs> yes, I think we have all learned something today, Mr. Kitty. Uh, Pegasus? Yes, that's yep. fine. Thank, Thank you. I'm so glad you're okay, Professor. I was so worried. Oh, Professor, you must be starving. Mercy and I made some sweets for you. Oh, that's so fucking cute. I love you both. Annette more, but you know. We were thinking that if you were to eat something sweet, it might help you feel better. I'm fine. Thank you for the thought. <laughs> Baking sweets is my specialty. I'm sure they'll do the trick. Professor, please lend us your ears. Ferdinand is saying impossible things. Professor, please cut off your ear and give it to me. Ferdinand has, has been spotting the most impossible doodads. I do not see what is impossible about it. All I said was that if you want to go back to Bridget, you probably can. You are the Empire's guest, so to speak. They cannot afford for something bad to happen to you. There would be a diplomatic incident. Someone close to us has turned up dead. So one could argue that you are not safe here anymore. I am not returning to home until I have grabbed my goal. I will not be listening to the words of Ferdinand. Yeah, shut up, Ferdinand. No, look, I did not mean to pressure you. Apologies for the misunderstanding. Oh, God, it's motherfucking Edelgard. Edelgard, I know your secret. I know you're probably the fire emperor or whatever. I feel like that's the only answer. I feel like that's where we're going with this. I'm curious to see, see what she says here. What happened to Gerald? It's terrible. Terribly awesome! If there's anything I can do, simply ask. Even if what you desire is revenge, I'll gladly lend you my power. I'm gonna call bullshit on that because I think you're an evil demon lord, which is really kind of like make me wonder how your fucking route goes. I mean, I've noticed that the Flame Emperor does seem slightly he more hesitant about certain things. You can recall in the cutscenes, right? Where everyone's like, yeah, let's go fuck some shit up. And they're kind of like, I don't know. It did seem like the Flame Emperor was, I can't remember how that scene exactly went. I think she was, I think they were a bit upset about Gerald's death though. But clearly she's doing this for a reason, right? If it really is her, but I feel like, I, like the, the evidence is so strong now. Like the fact that that dagger showed up there, I feel like it's just God means her. We can't let them get away with this. Forgive me if I believe your words ring slightly empty there, Edelgard. Sorry, what? Hope you've got a coat on because I'm gonna give you the cold shoulder this month, bitch. Hello there. Hello there. Oh. I found something in Linhart's room. A tree's on freshwater fish. Yay, give me that professor experience. But only got one more level. And then I will become the god I was always meant to be. Of teaching. And fishing. Alright, Felix, your ball improved. Got quite a few local specialties there. Alright, oh, I got the brave sword from this last thing. Attack twice when initiating combat. Cool. I kind of want that, so don't sell it. When I heard that Monica was with the enemy, I was surprised by how unsurprised I was. <laughs> yeah, me too. Something was just off about her. It's hard to explain. Maybe her dead eyes? That said, whenever she had free time, she was always hanging around with Edelgard. I wonder if Edelgard is also... Oh, I'm 
sorry. No, I'm just being paranoid. <laughs> wow. Please ignore me. The game is not being subtle about this at all, is it? Like, seriously, I I am a little... Su I, this has surprised me a bit. Because I feel like if it really just ends up being Edelgar, which I really feel like it is, it just like they really didn't kind of beat around the bush there. It's like, I would have thought like that would have been a kept a mystery until the end. And then suddenly the, the mask comes off and holy shit, you know, like if, if initially it didn't being Edelgard and I didn't get any of these hints, it, that would have been a big shock to me, you know? But now it's like, they, I feel like they've sort of ruined the surprise by doing this. I mean, I guess it leaves you something to piece together, but I think I would have liked it more as a as a sudden reveal, you know, as opposed to the opposed to doing it this way. Of course, I could be wrong and maybe they're setting me up to for uh, something else. Somebody else, maybe that that would be interesting. But it I just seems weird. Then, like, why would they have the knife, right? Unless this is a fake Edelgard and Edelgard, the real Edelgard's dead. Dark expressions don't suit you, Professor. But I'm um, well, I'm glad to see you out in the world again. It seems this month will be a quiet one around here. There aren't many nights around to liven things up. <laughs> Felix just looks at me. He's like, you should take a bath, Professor. You stink. Wow, Felix. That is the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Most of the nights are gone, seeking out the enemy. Isn't that a bit much? I agree it's important, but is it a good idea to neglect the safety of the monastery? What do you think, Professor? It'd be a shame if we were invaded. You're worrying too much. It'd be a shame if we were invaded. We can send some knights after our enemies, but so many? It makes the church seem reckless. God damn it. Is there somebody on the inside? Is that from Edelgard, possibly? Um, 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 <laughs> somebody um, else on the inside? We've already um, had, like, a couple of people on the inside already. Oh, Tooth Dagger. You That's yours. There we go. Thank you for finding my Tooth Dagger, Professor. You know what I really should be doing is, like, beginning of each, each of these months... Especially after, since I, since I have just had a story fight and everybody's uh, uh, motivation is probably a bit low, is to give them gifts so they like, so it increases that motivation again, right? Like a hunting dagger. You probably like that, right? This is nice. Yeah, yeah, sweet. Now we're set up for A rank. Maybe we are, we're, we're set up for A rank, but whatever. I mean, I've got so many gifts by this point. I mean, they were, since they refresh it in the shop every month, it's really easy to stockpile a bunch. Spot a Claude. Oh, he hit, he's over here hiding behind the bushes. I haven't lost a parent yet, so. I can't even begin to understand how you must be feeling. But even while you're standing still, the world keeps on moving. I always find that oddly comforting. Hmm. Really? There is no one here who has not heard tales of Geralt's valor. We have suffered a most dear loss. I do not know what the enemy's aim was, but I do know this. After what they have done, we cannot suffer them to live. If there is anything I can do to ensure that justice is brought swiftly, you need only give the word. Wow, thanks, Lorenz. You were like, surprisingly one of the nicest people I've talked to here. Uh, oh, this gotta be yours, right? Mm, I don't no? Not the light purple veil? Mm, the comb? Mm. No? I'll say a prayer for Gerald's soul. Thanks, Marianne. There's not much else I can do. Oh, it's all right. I appreciate it. Any of these yours? I know you're you're good at magic. That's definitely not yours. What about you, Hilda? Professor, it seems like you're holding up okay, but I'm worried about Leone. This is just how I look. All right, I'm actually kind of dead on the inside too. She really loved Gerald. I know. She can bounce back. I think it'll be interesting. Um, is Leone? I can't remember which house Leone's a part of. Is she Black Eagles or Golden Deer? But I think seeing that getting to know her and, and sort of understanding her, I don't know, that affinity with Gerald as well, because you're Gerald's son, that would inevitably tie back to you as well. I think that would probably be interesting to get to know that better in other playthroughs, right? Uh, a letter to the goddess. It probably has so many daydreams about the goddess. Is that you, Marianne? What's this? Uh, no, not you. Uh, probably so someone's good at making accessories. God damn it. I keep finding new ones and I gotta go test them out. Professor. Is that you, Hilda? Professor. Oh, it is yours. Thank you so, so much. You're a sweetheart. Aw, that does seem very nice. Oh, I missed a student over here. Um, Professor, do you think we'll still be able to graduate? Is that all you're thinking about right now? If dangerous things keep happening around here, who even knows? I mean, what the fuck? Where are all these electives I've been using gonna go to? If all the fucking professors just keep dying every two seconds. I hope that all the students and professors will be there to celebrate at the graduation ceremony. I swear to God, if you end up being a bad guy too and stabbing somebody else, I'm gonna stab you. All right. By the way, you got a B minus on your last test. Bye. Alicia. Right, I'm sure you will 
pull through this because you're so strong, Professor. Best to stay calm during such tumultuous and upsetting times. Thanks, Shorty. We don't know the nature of our enemies. If we underestimate them, anything could happen. But if we don't defeat them, we should be careful. Yes, I agree. I don't want to lose you too, Professor. Aw. Thank you, Lysidia. Any of this yours? What? What? From what I heard, I'm pretty sure you're also a, ma a master mage. What? What? Uh... Want a light purple veil? Want a light purple? Oh, Dorothea. Professor, just this once, I'll give you the fucking of your life. Uh, Dorothea, you literally offered me that every month. I've sung lyrics lamenting death many times on stage. But when something like this happens in real life, I'm lost. I don't know what to say. But I do know this much. Sir Gerald must have been very proud to have you as his child. God damn, man. I love all these characters. They're all so fucking sweet. Jesus Christ. How did you know I love Oh, there's your lovely comb. Okay. You're the one with the long hair, of course. Aw. Seriously. So cute. I'm so nice. Except for Casper. I mean I I know Cat Casper was doing it in his own way. Don't get me wrong. I know he was it was a little selfish because he was just thinking about himself, but I know he was just like he's thinking in terms of strength, right? He was it was showing that he was struggling with Gerald's death as well. Don't take it too seriously. I'm just kind of poking fun at him, alright? Hi, Bernie. Professor, I um I brought some flowers for Gerald. Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's like that's like I'm so fucking cute because I now know your character is like the super recluse like you don't leave your room for fucking anything but then she came out of her room to do this for gerald it's just like god damn it i might not be up for picking you as a romantic option bernie but can i at least adopt you thank you thank you you're out of your room uh thank you it's the least i can do sometimes i feel like all i do is run away anyway i'll go lay them out oh that's so fucking cute fuck this game god damn it you want a light purple veil why, why would I think that's yours? Because it's purple. Um, and you're purple. So there, oh, oh. 1139 to 1159. Gerald Eisner. <laughs> we don't know. Uh, 1180. Resting in the warm embrace of cherished memories. Wait, so is he in the grave right next to hers? Because this, this was uh, the grave of uh, my mom. I, I guess so. It's just kind of weird they included it in the same... Or they did they bury him in the same plot? I'm not really sure. I, I never really kn I've known that for cemeteries. Like... If a, a loved one died in a plot, would they dig it up and put add another body to it? Or would they just put it, like, dig up a hole right next to it and then... It, but it would still be, like, the same plot. I don't know. That, I mean, that's probably how it works, right? I mean, it's not unusual to imagine that you would want to be buried with your loved one. But I didn't always think that they would actually... If one died before the other, that they'd dig them up put them in there, but... I slipped quietly into the vault and rummaged about, looking for anything we might find useful. There is a group of people who want to kill us, after all. What? This is no time for asking permission. I learned long ago that one can ask permission or forgiveness. It is rarely useful to request the former. Still, it appears the knights have already taken everything useful. There were crest-related objects I thought might be worth studying, so... <sighs> there you go again with that stern look. Of course I'll put them back when I'm done, assuming they bear no additional use. Are you going to take matters into your own hands here, Lindart? I'm not sure what to make of Lindart. At least, not on this playthrough. I trained with Gerald just the other day. Why? Why did he have to go and die? It's too awful. He didn't deserve it. Damn. <laughs> you have a sadder than I am. <laughs> Generic knight whose face portrait I don't think I've ever seen before. Hey, I got a quest. Here, sire, how about a quest to make you feel better? Ah, thank you, lowly knight. Time for a request. The Industrians, uh, Imper Empire's Imperial Guard is looking for someone to train with. They're the cream of the crop, but I'm certain you can hold your own. Uh, Empire use. I mean, I'll accept it. Monarch study book. That's new. Um, but I don't know if I'm just going to happen because I still have quite a few paralogs I got to go through. And those definitely take priority. Uh, iron cooking pot. Picky about cooking utensils. Uh, I think that might be to do. Um, and then training logbook. Probably someone who trains relentlessly. Casper? It's either Casper or Raphael. Hi, Anna. I heard Gerald passed away. My deepest condolences. Thank you, Nanako. I knew him long before I ever even met you. He was always so much fun to be around. It's such a loss. All right, we got two notes. Who we got? 
Leone, there's someone I just can't seem to be. What's a quick and easy way to give them an up and say, have them go up and say uncle? You could just ask him to, ask him to say it. Have you considered poison? Uh, quick and easy never works. Huh? Oh, yes. This is, this is why it's, it's good to figure out who it is that's asking it. Because I'm like, I don't think, I think that's what she wants to hear. It's like quick and easy it doesn't work. Uh, Lysithia, I often hear ridiculous rumors about ghosts appearing in the monastery. It's nonsense and disrupting my studies. There aren't really ghosts, are there? You have nothing to worry about. There are no ghosts. Rumors are true. Ghosts are everywhere. You best not walk around at night. Yeah, no ghosts. You're fine, Lysithia. I don't like ghosts. So you and Ash don't like ghosts. Good to know. Uh, birds and mice would eat. Probably someone cares for that. Marion. I Ash. Not just Tomas, but Monica too. I know. God, everybody's a everybody's a demon here, and maybe even Adelgard. We can't be sure who to trust anymore, can we? Who are these people really? What do they want? Oh, seriously, I sell you a little dipshit. Oh, goddess, hear my prayer. Please receive this beloved person. When the cold rain washes the body, when the bird and wolf announce the dawn. Receive them into your blue blood. Receive them into a twinkling star. That's a morning scripture from the Church of Saros. Lady Rhea taught it to me. I pray that Gerald is happy in the next world. Aw. You know what? Thanks, Cyril. I don't understand a word you said, but... Maybe one of these things is yours, too. Oh, Children's Fables. That's gotta be Ash. Oh, is it? I'm scared. I feel that I don't understand the world. How could something like that happen to Gerald? He was so strong. What happens, happens, Ignace. Get over it. Even though you're scared, push through. You're inspiring, Professor. I'll do my best. Oh, it's okay, man. We'll pull through this shit. Want a bag of seeds? Oh, that's mine. Oh, letter to the goddess was you. Huh. I didn't know you were crazy about the goddess. Hey, Rhea. Professor. How are you holding up? I know how heavily grief weighs upon one's heart. I lost my mother some time ago. It was... Forgive me my moment of weakness. Even all these years later, I cannot recall that time without feeling the pain as if it were brand new. Is your mother Saros? Just know that I am praying for your mind and your heart to find peace. Snap right quill. There's lots of paperwork. I'm pretty sure that's, uh, Seneth right here. First Tomas, and now Monica. I do have a theory, though I admit it is nothing more than speculation. Both Tomas and Monica have each gone missing at one time or another. It was reported that when Monica returned from her disappearance, she began to act like a completely different person. As if, perhaps, the real Monica had been killed and replaced by an imposter. Yeah. Thinking of it like that, it is possible that this Solon had been impersonating Tomas for some time. Okay, when they're just now figuring this shit out, come on, guys. I figured this crap out last month. How they managed such a convincing change of appearance, though, I still do not understand. They must have an amazing makeup artist. All right, pretty sure this quill is yours. Yes, this is mine. Sure, man. It was literally right over there. I wonder if Edelgard ends up being the Flame Emperor. I wonder if uh, Hubert was is privy to all this. I feel like he would have to be, right? Like, how could he not know about this shit that's going on? Uh, oh, uh, what? Nani the fuck? Sothis, how'd you get in here? Oh, is something hiding just behind that book? A small leather bag inside of a ring. That ring? I have seen it before. Ah, I know. Gerald showed that ring to you beside a grave. Do you recall? He said he wished for you to have that ring one day. That means it's yours. Cool. He also said that you should gift that ring to someone special. Huh. Did, did, did it add in my inventory or, or not? Did, did I get it? Is it in my gifts here? I'm thinking that might be like the end game thing when you used to like propose to people or something. You pick your, rom your romance option, possibly? I have something rather uncomfortable to discuss. It's about the weapon that killed Gerald. Will you listen? No, fuck you. It was a dagger, but I know enough to know it wasn't an ordinary dagger. It wasn't made of iron or steel because, well, because whatever it was, the wound it left wasn't normal. Who could make a blade like that, do you figure? Huh. 
Not normal in what way? Please elaborate. No, no. Wherever did this turn up? Thank you for getting it back to me. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you were the. You've lost someone very dear to you. I'm so. You have my sympathy. Manuela and I can take on some of your workload this month. We can't do all the teaching, but at least we can lighten the load for you. I've always seen strength in your eyes. I know you'll recover. You're a very strong person. Thank you, Hanuman. Oh, wait, I can talk to her again. What? I wonder who they were. Oh, just that. <laughs> oh, half lane. You have lost your father. Now more than ever, do I understand how very lucky I am that you were able to save me. Professor, I deeply appreciate what you have done. Thank you. If there is anything at all I can do in return, please tell me. Okay? Thanks, Flane. You're my good little buddy. Hmm. Oh, the Book of Fables was yours. Hmm. Ah, Hubert, <laughs> who's conveniently staying behind this suit of armor. <laughs> I've never been much for condolences. So fuck you. <laughs> I've never been much. <gasps> wow. Thanks, Hubert. That's really, really dickish of you, Hubert. Congratulations, you surpassed Casper in your remark there. You know what? If you ends up being evil alongside old guard, I believe it now. <laughs> I totally believe it. Really? Really? Yes, really, random NPC. Hey! Hey! Give me some more experience. Monica von Ox. There is nothing suspicious in her past that would suggest this change of character. Her transformation must have something to do with her disappearance last year. Sadly, that is the extent of my knowledge. I wonder who kidnapped her and why. Pretty sure the real Monica is dead by this point. First Tomas, and now Monica. I am so sorry. The failing was clearly our own. Clearly! We didn't notice the enemy's invasion. And now Gerald. I... I apologize. There is nothing I can say to atone for our sins. You're going to hell, priest. Professor, please do not let your guard down even among the people of the monastery. Even me. There is no way to know where another enemy may be hiding. They are watching. The? Meanwhile, Hubert's like, Professor, do you see how awesome it was and Gerald got stabbed in the back? Man, I love seeing the, the deaths of my colleagues, friends, and family. Ah -ha! Yeah, I don't think there's anybody else that could possibly be evil here. Nope. Nobody here. Okay, so we got the Spice Festival. Festival in the dining hall featuring a fine selection of rare Eastern spices. Makes your enhancement dying with spicy loving food lovers. Cool. So I gotta get Dudu and Gilbert to hang out with each other. Dudu does like spicy things. Is Gilbert here? Oh no, Gilbert's not here. Fuck! I was like, I'm not finding anything that Gilbert shares with Dudu, and then uh, he's not here. Fuck. That's right, I didn't run into him. Run oh, fuck, that sucks. <laughs> That's a bitch. That sack of shit. Well, he better fucking show up next month, because I think next month is going to be the last chance. I guess he's got sent out. Actually, now think about it. none of the Knights of Saros are here, are they? Catherine's not here. Shamir's not here either. Does that mean they're just not in my party anymore? Uh, No, they're still there. Just... I wonder if I'll even be able to use them in my paralogs or, or any of the battles. I probably can, but I don't think I'll be able to, uh, won't be able to bomb with them, that's for sure. Shit. Well, okay. That's a bummer. Ah, oh, Alois is gone too then. Shit. I didn't know. That's going to be, uh, shit, that really, that really sucks. Because so now I, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get, uh, Dimitri and Dedu's final bond here. All right, let's go ahead and have Bernie do the, uh, the tournament here. Time to clean house, Bernie. Maybe. Ooh, actually, I don't know. Better hope she gets a critical hit or something in there. Ooh. Boom. Can I go now? <laughs> Can I go now? Uh, ooh, I might be in trouble. Gonna definitely need to heal. I don't know if she's gonna be able to get to the end of this, honestly. Unless she gets a fucking crit. Which she has a 0% chance, so that's uh, not likely going to happen. Oh, hey, there we go. That's what I want to see. Oh, I am now, I am supremely fucked. I am supremely fucked. 89% uh, chance, this can't be twice. Uh, yeah, I'm going to die, but we're going to try. Ow, ow, ow. Nope. Shit. Okay, that didn't happen. I wonder, can I only use my students for this? Or can the the Knights of Saros do it? I won't know because they're not here right now, but 
It's probably just the students. Well, actually, no, I can send, I can even send professors in there. So no, I definitely could do this. All right, Ash, can you do it? Uh, ooh, he takes a lot less damage than uh, Bernie does. Interesting. A lot less damage, fuck. Because he has higher defense or something. There's the Ignats here. Let's see if that continues. Uh, yes. Still might want to heal though, because we have the same HP. Petra is still gonna kill me. Petra's kind of a beast. Yeah, she is gonna murder my ass. Unless I get a critical, which I don't. Fuck me, man. Okay. Don't know if I'm getting the tournament this month here. Damn it, if I had Shamir here, she would fucking do it. She'd one shot everybody. She's the crit crit fucking king. I have the crit ring, but it seemed like it said it increased your crit by five, but I put it on myself earlier and it only seemed to incre increase my crit in battle by one. I had 10 normally. And then when I had it on, it only, only 11, which is kind of weird. Uh, well, the recommended level is 20 and I'm not 20. So that would probably be part of it. Yeah. Bernie has very low defense, seven defense and ashes, 10 defense, not a ton more, but it is slightly more. Actually, you know what? While I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and decide who to give my uh, my stat boosting items here. I have actually a... Uh, God damn it. I, th this is one thing I, I... like Again, I can't go straight to the convoy. I have to pick a character, and then I can go from here to the convoy. But it's like, why can't I just go to the convoy and then choose who, who gets a thing? It's like, fuck me, man. So there's just so many... The, the UI it, outside of battle is just not very good. I still got a one that gives me plus... Uh, movement yeah so who is gonna get that oh i gotta that's right i want to give to marianne because i want her to be able to keep up with people because she's gonna be moving around following other people to give them their uh uh well make them act again right and i want her to be able to keep up with everybody so what does that make her then and of course in this menu i can't see what their fucking stats are it's like freaking shit wait right can i no okay i guess they're seven movement that's quite good it's basically like a horseback a horseback unit now need a horse <laughs> okay good okay i've got a strength plus two one and who should i give that to <laughs> clearly dimitri because he doesn't have nearly enough so i'm just kidding i actually might want to give it to ash or bernie i think i'm gonna give it to ash and maybe try the tournament again i don't know i mean it's not a huge deal if he, if i if i don't get someone to beat this tournament but he's still i think it's important that he does get uh more attack power because i do want him to be a fucking sick ass sniper and also, he's gotten a lot of bad level ups. So you got dexterity by two and HP by one as well. All right. So strength by two. Uh, HP by one. Give that to whoever's the lowest. Bernie, very low. Marianne as well, very low. Actually, I might want to give that to Marianne because I'm going to bring her to like pretty much every fight. She's already pretty squishy. So let's go with that. Okay. And who has the worst dexterity? Probably gonna be to do. Ingrid's is surprisingly not the best either. Casper's isn't super great. Okay, Casper's is lower, but to do is a much higher level, and his is already pretty low. And I used to do like all the goddamn time. So he's just such a beast. The secret book of life, and it moves us all. I'm gonna need to repair some of these weapons. I'm gonna put the crit ring on Ash here and give this tournament one last try. So he had zero crit before. It's supposed to increase it by five, but see, it doesn't, maybe, maybe it's not changing anything. I, I could have sworn I had 10 when I didn't have it on and then 11 in my own fight, but it doesn't seem to be changing anything for Ash at least. <sighs> then Petra comes out and fucking kills everybody. She's too fast. If I, had to get a, if I had a chance of getting a critical, I might be able to beat this, but. Nope. Can't be Petra. Just too fast. All right, let's give... Uh, Cyril's got one with, with Sedith here. And while I wasn't really planning to focus on that, um, he, Cyril's already gotten, I think, with everybody in my group already. Um, but he hasn't got a C-Rick with him, and they both like spicy food. So it could potentially get it up in just one go. Maybe. If it doesn't, then I'm going to redo this. This is so good. And the flavor is nostalgic to me for some reason. Hmm. I'd like some more. Uh, uh, more? More? All right, did that do it? That did not do it. Nope, in that case, we're redoing it. All right, let's try um, Dimitri and uh, Mercedes here. Yeah, they, 
They're at C plus, so it's possible they might go up. And and uh, at B rank, they both have a they have like a, a double B rank, right, with the, the two arrows on it. So uh, it's gonna take them a little time to uh, get through that. So let's give that a try. This is my oh, it's my absolute favorite, just like everything else. No, seriously. Okay, apparently C plus doesn't mean fucking shit. You know, you think that would mean like, oh yeah, that means just one more, we're all good to go. But apparently not. Fuck me, man. I'm trying to commit to ones that actually like, like just push them over the edge, you know, just to get them to that point, if I can. And not just be like setting them up for when it happens. All right, Sylvain and Annette. There we go. Figure one within house there. How about that? They only go as high as B though, so. That's the last one for them. Sylvain, good timing. There's something I want to say to you. You're a piece of shit. Hope you die. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> I guess this is why it's only goes up to a B rank. Uh oh. Did I do something wrong? Yes. Did you spot me sneaking back in this morning? Or is it about that girl who got mad I kissed her sister goodnight? I can explain either way. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no, but we'll talk about that later. No, I'm not here to get after you about those things. Surely other people have that covered. <laughs> like Ingrid. What I really want to talk about is your behavior during our training sessions. When we're sparring, you're always passing on great opportunities to get the edge on me. It's almost as though you're going out of your way to make me think you're incapable. All right, because the last one they, the last one they did together, right, showed that Sylvain was a lot smarter than he sort of came across, and and that's like, like what the fuck? I studied my ass off, and you, you're just fine by just dicking around. Nah. I just like giving other people the spotlight. Uh-huh. It's not that you took something I said to heart about how you don't have to work hard to be good at stuff and how that isn't fair. I did take those things to heart. We're friends, right? I'd be sad if you started to hate me. There's just one thing I want you to remember. Guys like me who hate hard work and sort of get by on our wits, it all falls apart eventually. I'm smart enough to know that. So I respect people like you. I mean it. Oh, is that sincerity? <laughs> it's kind of creeping me out. It's just so unlike you. Huh? When you say nice things like that, I can't take joy in beating you. Piece of shit, damn it, you're supposed to be an asshole to me. It's like a curb stomp you later. I want to beat you when you're at your best. That's why it bothers me so much when you don't try your hardest against me. Let me put this a different way. I've always been treated like I'm special, and I'm not. At least, I don't think I am. I'm just tired of people thinking they know what I can and can't do. When everybody expects something of you, or envies you, it's kind of suffocating. I'd rather people think I'm dumb. Well, I mean, I can still be pretty dumb. <laughs> I have to admit, I have a hard time understanding where you're coming from. What the heck, Sylvain? We're, we're the two redheads of the group, okay? We should be working together! <laughs> just know that... I want you to keep being great at everything without trying. If you stop being that way, I won't have any competition. <laughs> competition, huh? I like the sound of that. Where the heck were you when I was growing up? If I had someone like you back then, I think I may have turned out different. And better, I mean. Anyway, I'd love to chat more with you. Would you like to grab some tea with me, or...? Oh, sure thing. The very next moment I'm free. For now, I need to get to my magic training. Oh, I see. Some other time, then. I look forward to it, Annette. Sylvain's still going after them, though. Still doing his horny ways. Hence the reason they only go up to B. Still, it's cute, though. I'm, again, we're like... We're learning more about them and how... It seems like Sylvain's just kind of like giving up on himself, though. He's just kind of like, yeah, I'm just this piece of shit. Whatever. Don't give a fuck. I'm not going to get a genuine relationship with anyone, right? Yeah, it's kind of a shame he can't do like a, like a cross support with like... Dimitri and Edelgard. Like, I feel like that'd be super interesting. I mean, I guess the point is it's clearly they're in the main story, right? <laughs> we don't need to go through the side shit to, to see it. Still think it'd be kind of cool, though. Uh, okay, what about Dimitri and Marianne? Would that work? Uh, yes! There we go. Alright, let's see it. Marianne? Oh, yes? May I sit here? There isn't another open spot. Um... You may. I'm sorry. I should have eaten in my quarters. I know you asked me to stay away from you. No, it's fine. About the other day, when you said you didn't regret risking your own life. I apologize for whatever foolish thing I said to upset you, truly. But may I ask what happened? It's just... 
There is only misfortune for anyone who comes near me. Misfortune? I'm afraid so. Especially those with complete disregard for their own safety. Ah, so I didn't offend you. You're trying to tell me I should be more concerned for my own safety. Well, I suppose I could improve in that regard. As for you causing misfortune, I think that's far from the truth. In fact, I find you to be a lucky charm of sorts. Yeah! Me? Lucky? I'm sorry, but I don't agree with that at all. My entire life up until this point has been nothing but a string of unfortunate events. But misfortune finds us all. Perhaps those around you have suffered or even perished. But look at you. You're still here, alive and well. That's... It doesn't feel good, does it? To be the one left behind? You feel guilt for not dying along with the others. <laughs> I can relate! How did you know? Oh. You and I are the same. Maybe you should fear being cursed with misfortune for coming near me. <laughs> <laughs> a smile and a laugh. Coming from you, that's a rarity. This must be my lucky day. I just find the idea amusing. It's strange to think that someone like you could have anything in common with me. Is it so terrible a thought? No, no, it's not that. It actually makes me happy. As though there's finally someone who understands how I truly feel. Yeah. Hey! Oh, that was nice. Yay! That's because they're they're the previous one and kind of kind of uh kind of sad like. Oh, good. See, this is like it's so smart, you know. Just all these interactions between everybody, they feel so genuine and real. Feel like real people. I like. All right, that. to do with Felix. No. Oh, he does have one with Felix, but he can't unlock it yet. Piece of shit. Wow, really? Fuck. It's not like having that is a bad thing, but I'd rather try to see ones that I can actually get right now. If I can't watch it at this moment, then obviously there's no need to worry about waiting. This is lovely. I welcome an opportunity for us three to get together and enjoy one another's company. I wouldn't normally want you around for dinner, Hanneman. <laughs> But it's kind of nice once in a while. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> they have unique dialogue together. Well, I wonder if I can get them to a C rank. I wonder almost if they'd have uh, affinity right off the bat just because they already know each other. No, doesn't look like it. We're really just trying to get people who can actually like just try to get them to that next level today if I can. I don't know though. I might have to, I might have to settle with just getting them up there, but not actually getting them all the way. There we go. Ingrid and Ash. Gotcha. All right, let's see it. Oh, wait, did I have one with uh, Do you know this somebody legend, too? Ingrid? It's about the Battle of Fodlin's Throat. Oh, yes. I know it like the hilt of my sword. With so many valiant knights appearing in this story, I couldn't help but wonder which was your favorite. I really like this one, the one in the middle, the knight who stands in defense of the duke. <laughs> I like knights. I like knights too. <laughs> we are best friends. I know we are. <laughs> Such a wonderful knight. One of my favorites as well. That makes sense. He's so noble and virtuous. In fact, he kind of reminds me of you. I... <clears throat> Thank you. You remind me of him as well. You are honest, as is he. Uh, no, I, I'm nowhere near <laughs> My god, so fucking cute. Maybe someday. I'm over here at the side like, this is so fucking wholesome. You two better make ass suit. Maybe if we work hard together, we can both become knights as glorious as the one in this story. Glorious. Together, yes. Now, wouldn't that be something? If only we could. Huh? Ash, the legends are exactly that. Legends. They're not indicative of real life. Oh. The cards we are dealt are what they are. We can work with what we have but we can't change what's in our hand. What's that supposed to mean? I long to serve his highness as a knight, the sort of knight that legends are written about. But I was born bearing a crest, and with that comes responsibility. Whether I like it or not, I am the last hope of House Galatea. I am the only one who can carry on the family bloodline and restore our lost fortune. To do that means setting aside my own dreams and ambitions. You still have the right to pursue your dreams. Ash, I must ask something of you. Yes, of course. Anything. My dream is aligned with your own. Please, 
for both of us. Promise to see yours through. That doesn't seem fair. I'll never be able to see my dream through. Doing so would mean terrible misfortune for others. I gotta give my family a baby! So, I am bound Aww. by honor not to follow through on my own dream. But, I can help you achieve yours. Come on, this isn't like you at all. Please, don't smile when your eyes are so sad. Oh, no, no! <laughs> that started off sweet, then it ended very sad. <laughs> oh, now I'm back over the stuff like... <laughs> Damn it, fuck. You two are the chosen ones. You're supposed to lift, help lift my mood up, destroy it. Fucking god damn it. Now, nah, fuck it. I'm reloading this. <laughs> oh my god. I <laughs> I redid the Hottaman and Manuela one, except this time, I, I didn't realize they actually both do like spicy food. And I picked a spicy food one instead of a not spicy food one, which, you know, which had the, the spicy food as the bonus, right? The bonus for today. And that was enough to push them over. Fuck yeah, baby. That's what I want to see. <laughs> That's how you game the system, guys. All right. This is this is probably going to be funny. Oh. Manuela, isn't it a bit rude to sigh at someone the moment you see them enter the room? Hanuman, isn't it a bit rude to tell others how to behave? Besides, I could be sighing about any number of things more interesting than you. Jesus Christ. Goodness, you're unusually irritable today. Don't you imagine your attitude a bit excessive? You snap at every little thing. Your ill mood on display for one and all. It saddens me to see such behavior from one who should be setting a good example for the younger generation. God damn it, Hanuman, I'm just hungover, all right? Give me a break. Well, listen to the noble lecturing a lowly commoner to be on her best behavior. Oh, wait, I meant to say the former noble. God damn, that's a low blow, bitch. I fail to understand how my birth is relevant to the topic at hand. I was merely trying to say that as a fellow adult, you're not done lecturing yet? Leave me alone and go pester someone else. Maybe leave everyone alone and go focus on your precious crest research. Huh. I don't know what to say to you, Manuel. I was only speaking out of honest concern. Oh, was that a sigh I heard? Isn't it a bit rude to sigh at someone just because... Don't be so childish. You are so sensitive to ill will from others, yet you let your own emotions run wild. Why is it that you cannot keep a handle on yourself? Keep a handle on? <laughs> well, I've never. Oh, shit. What makes you think you're so much better? Just because you keep your emotions bottled up behind your stupid stony face. Well, it doesn't mean everyone else has to do the same. I just like to wear loud and proud like these boobs of mine. Stop telling everyone how to behave, Hanneman. It will make you and the rest of us much happier. I will not stand for this insolence. Oh my god. It is high time someone taught you. <laughs> now, now you see me in the corner. I'm just eating some popcorn. I'm like, shit, this is getting crazy. I can't wait. <laughs> Slurping out my sippy cup. Like, <laughs> Go on. If you think you can Go on, bitch. Me, I'd like to see you try. <laughs> you couldn't handle a day in my shoes. Well, you couldn't handle a day in my high heels. So then they then they switch places for one day. Hotman has to go around wearing two giant melons on his chest at all times. And Manuela must walk around with a big thick turtleneck. So no one can see the cleavage. And they must get, understand what it's like to be the other. Wait, what? What are we even talking about anymore? <laughs> <laughs> Thought so. You wouldn't dare. Absolutely insufferable. God damn. <laughs> Somebody taught you a, was he getting ready to smack the fuck out of Manuela? That's right, you too much of a pussy on him. God damn, they really Wow. They uh they they uh dislike each other a lot more than I realized. I, I was kinda thinking it would just be kind of like a like a playful like like oh you didn't get your shit together and well whatever but they like but it would still keep it relatively professional. Oh they they uh they uh don't seem to like each other terribly uh too much do they uh they do get up to an a rank though so maybe it'll work out or maybe it'll uh just continue to get worse <laughs> this is gonna end with one of those two dead it's a coin flip 50 50 but legend says there's actually a 0.01 chance that they'll actually kill each other <laughs> or they both live one or the other oh yeah actually i did get a setup with ash there except uh, i still can't do anything and same with ingrid god i 
Well, whenever the fucking point happens that I can start hanging out with these people, I'm going to have a lot of uh, quality time. So look at this. I'm going to hang out with a lot of my students. Just like one day, I'm just going to have like fucking 50 new supports with everybody. I'm going to be a busy beaver that day. That's Seneth and Felix. Kind of a weird one, but give it a try. They haven't formed a bond yet. And they both like spicy food, so it could push it over the edge. The flavor is nostalgic to me for some reason. Give me more. Oh. Huh? Yeah, boy. Okay, I have no idea what to expect from this one. They only get up to a B rank, so let's see it. May I help you, Sedith? Finally noticed me, I see. Good to see that you are so dedicated to your training. Do you have need of my sword? No, this is not a military matter. I would like to discuss the distance you seem to be keeping from the others. Distance? I don't follow. They all get in my way. I have noticed that you like to keep others at arm's length. And in most cases, quite a bit further. <laughs> keeping a close eye on me. They don't share my values, that's all. Is that why you train alone? Because your friends do not share your values? You seem displeased. I suppose you're going to tell me, to defeat your enemies, you must have dependable allies. That's not exactly how I would phrase it. But having good relationships with your allies is essential in combat. I am sure you realize that it is easier to bond with people when you interact with them more. There are limits to what one person can do alone. Great things cannot be achieved without allies. It's funny how Fao said it is... Seems to be incredibly wise when involved with other people's affairs, but with his own affairs with his sister, he seems totally just like in denial. You sound like my father. You're saying it's in my own interest to make friends? To put it simply, yes. As much as you possibly can. To be honest, I envy you. Because I know what it is like to not have many people to call friends. I wouldn't have guessed that. There are so many devout believers. I am talking about friends. People to speak with on equal terms. Aw. <laughs> Said it's a little lonely. You have many friends here. You should take care to attend to them. I'll consider your advice. But I'm not usually one to change my mind. <laughs> ah, to be young. How old are you, Sedith? You're not like a mystery age too like your sister, are you? That was interesting. It's actually, I was interesting because Felix actually treated him a bit more respectfully than I thought he would. I think he sees him more as a superior, which, I mean, he is. But, you know, Felix usually snaps at just about everybody. Like, everyone who supports has been Felix just snapping at somebody like, fuck you. <laughs> Get out of my way. I generally don't even know what the fucking purpose of, what, what is the purpose of having Anna here and eating with somebody? I guess just to raise her motivation, but for fuck's sake. I can just give her a gift or something and get that same result. God, I really wish they gave Anna some freaking supports. It just... Seems like such wasted potential. And there's no more people with spicy food that I can make use of here. I don't think. That was Raphael and Casper, but they're only at C. I, I doubt that's going to work. But worth a try, right? Oh, I love food. Uh, thank you, Raphael. There's no way it's going to work. Nope. I've got people at, uh, who have who had C plus before and they didn't rank up from that. So, yeah. Yes. Okay. Mercedes and to do. There we go. All right. Let's see it. I get it. Oh, did she want to learn how to cook from him? I think. Wait, no, that was Flane. So the Sky God got into an argument with the Earth God. Then Dusker was created. Oh, he's teaching her about the religion. You oversimplify it somewhat. Yes. Yes, Earth God. <laughs> There's something so mysterious about it. There are only mountains separating us from Dusker, but it's like a completely different world. It's a lot of dirt and heat. And dingoes. This has been so interesting. I've never learned so much about it before. There are not many left to pass on the legends of Dusker. Really? That's a shame. It's almost like when someone dies, or a family line ends. I think a place is only truly destroyed when there's no one left to remember it. You should tell more people about Dusker to keep it alive. That is a strange thing to say. That's weird. You're weird. Oh? Why do you think that? Dusker is forever the enemy of Fargus. Nobody wants to hear anything I say to them. No one cares about our culture or history. I'm different, though. I don't know anyone who was killed by the people of Dusker. 
I don't hold a grudge against you, and I never have. Um, Dudu? Is this recipe from Dusker? You don't care for it. No, no. I was actually surprised by how much I enjoyed it. It's very earthy! Good, because there's actually dirt in it. Would you teach me how to make it soon? But it seems I am ever the teacher with you. And seldom the student. You're right. I'm so sorry. Ah, oh, I have an idea. My mother taught me to bake the perfect sweets to go with tea. Would you like to learn how to bake them? It's a secret Martreats family recipe that's been passed down for generations. House Martreats of the Empire? I thought they were no more. It's true. My father's family was wiped out in the Empire. I'm the last living descendant. Right, her previous family. Wait, is her mom not alive? I can't remember. Did we say that her mom died? Are you certain you wish to impart such precious memories to me? Of course. Now that my family's gone, I'm the only one who knows the secret. The sweets would vanish from Fodlin if something happened to me. I see your point. Yes, I would like to learn. Teach me some part! Ah, oh, this is nice. Did... Hold on, let me check her uh, Mercedes bio here. Does it actually say in here that mother died? Mothers are married to Baron Bartels. Her brother Emil is born the next year. With, and they leave with, yeah, he, she leaves with her mother. After many twists and turns, the roles of the office. I didn't misunderstand the. It's true. My father's family was wiped out in the Empire. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, that's it's different. Well, I guess she married into the March Trees family. Her mother would have, but she wasn't necessarily of the same blood, right? And Mercedes has a crest, so I think that's that, that, maybe that's what she means. Even though the mother would have married in there, she still isn't necessarily a blood descendant of the Martreets. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably what they mean. I don't know. I just kind of assume like, well, if, if she married into it, then she is a... Now that that uh, the mother would also have the name, but not really how it works, I guess, in, in, in this world, right? With the, with the bloodline of crests being so important. I actually like it. It's interesting how every time you have uh, food with people and they can't, you know, eat out again, it actually eliminates them from the list here, which uh, makes that pretty useful from making sure that, like, you, if you go through it, you're not seeing people that, you, oh, I can't eat with them anyway because I've already eaten with them for for today. Oh, interesting. There's actually a food here that, look, small fish skewers. Nobody likes this. With a muddy flavor and dry texture, this dish is beloved by few. This is literally beloved by nobody. So I guess they're like, if you have nothing else to go for, well, Anna likes whatever this is, fried crab uh, crayfish. Looks much tastier than it actually is. <laughs> but Anna, but Anna likes it. There you go. Not that it fucking matters. Oh, you can't also make the same dish twice, can you? Oh, wait. No, 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 no. It's, I, I don't have a certain ingredient for those, I say. Well, might as well make the most of... Uh, I, I'm pretty much... I think I've hit the point where I can't get anybody else to the, the next level to see their rank up, so... Uh, might as well just get things set up for other people. So, we'll go with uh, Casper and Raphael here. It's not going to be enough to level up, but at least get them ready. Actually, I think I'm at C plus with uh, Casper here, so it might be enough with me? Maybe? No? All right, one more. Um, and I think I'm kind of out of people now. So, let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, I can't sing at the, uh, at the church, though. So, maybe... I can get someone over the edge here. Possibly. It is not guaranteed to be good. Singing is so much fun. I like singing, Lou, Lou, Lou. Uh, hey, yeah. Hell yeah, boy. There we go. That's what I like to see. All right, and then Dimitri. Your Highness, I have a little favor to ask of you. Of course. How may I be of assistance? Well, I was hoping you could tell me about my father. <gasps> oh, here we go. I imagine he was a very different man at home than he was at work. Ah, so you wish to hear about the Gustav that I knew. As you know, he was a knight who served the royal family since my grandfather's reign. To me, yeah. he was a teacher of martial arts and tactics. He was someone I depended on since I was a small child. But he was also a very stern and strict instructor. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. He was much the same at home. He chide us if we made mistakes, whether it was with cooking or even how we spoke. Is that so? <laughs> Funny. I suppose in front of his family, he felt the need to demonstrate proper etiquette. Wait, are you saying that's not how he was around you? 
Even all these years later, there's something I recall with perfect clarity. It happened in the autumn of my 11th year. Before the break of dawn, he woke me suddenly, said he'd heard a disturbance and had me grab my bow. Then he set me and a fellow pupil loose on a dark mountain. Our only directive was to go catch a deer. <laughs> As you well know, our capital is very cold. Now, imagine being up on the mountain at night with no idea what might jump out from the shadows. Jesus, Gilbert! <laughs> Gustav! <laughs> that, in a nutshell, is the Gustav I knew. <laughs> boy, take your bow! Shoot that deer, boy! <laughs> I can hardly imagine that. He was completely different with me. I recall one other defining detail. He used to speak of you at every possible opportunity. Really? What would he say about me? Are you sure you want to know? There's one story he used to tell from when you were very small. No, stop. It's probably too embarrassing to bear. Is it? <laughs> Is it? Uh, perhaps. He used to run around naked. Look, I'll promise to forget the stories he told me about you if you return the favor. Deal? Yes, that seems the only thing to do. It's a promise. Interesting. That was nice. Yeah, well, I, I didn't even think about that as like a potential conversation piece between them. That actually talking about her father. Since, yeah, he does know her. I know her father probably a bit better than she does. Uh, in, in some ways. Uh, and then they have an A rank, actually, but with a, a double arrowed one. So a double whammy. Oh, man, it's just so fucking good. So good. I, I will say I am really bummed to like that uh, all the Knights of Saros are like gone this month. I can't do any bonding with them. Motherfuckers. That's a shit ton of supports that it's leaving me high and dry with. All right. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and fish just so I can uh, get some, just a little bit extra experience and also uh, possibly get some money. Uh, I gotta say though, I am kind of sick of the fucking fishing minigame. It is, I mean, it gets the job done, but it is not terribly exciting. After, especially after you fish like a few fucking hundred fish by this point. You know, I gotta say, after fishing like a million times now, I think I actually get better fish generally with the earthworm than I do with any other bait, even though it's just a three star one. I feel, I swear to God, I get better fish with this than I do with the blow, the blow flea or the herring bait, even though those are higher stars. Like I almost always get at least, at least a red with the earthworm. Boom, red fish. All right. Well, it at least gave me about like a thousand professor experience, I think. So, uh, worthwhile, just it's fucking time consuming. Oh crap, that's right. I still have lost items to give to people. Like a lot, actually. <laughs> a lot of lost items left. Hey! Hey! What up, bitch? A bag of seeds. That's gonna be Marianne. Uh, I don't know who's someone who's not good at magic. Uh, oh, Catherine, but Catherine's not here. Picky about cooking utensils. I think it might be to do. Weird games. It's actually, it's possible that some of these might belong to some of the Knights of Saros. So I won't be able to do it till later. Yes, there we go. No, not your training log book either, huh? That belongs to me. Oh, uh, yep. Iron cook pot for him. Let's try with that. Oh, here's here's one. This is a, uh, someone draws a wood carving. This is Gilbert. So I won't be able to do it for a while. Oh, thank you. Oh, the training book belonged to you, Thanks Dimitri. You, you do train relentlessly. That's actually a lot of people though, <laughs> honestly. All right, I think the rest of these might belong to um, Knight, the Knights of Saros. So I'm thinking weird games could be Alois. Uh, this is going to be Catherine's. Not good at magic. Uh, maybe Shamir? This is Gilbert. So yeah, so the Umbral Steel is what you need to repair the sort of the creator. I only need two of them, though. So not uh, at least not terribly expensive. I still got an extra large bullion sitting here. I forgot about you. All right, I'm ready. All right, let's see who should we set up for the group task this time? Go with Ingrid and uh, Dimitri. All right, got seven points to spend, and everybody's feeling good. Oh yeah, so I can't teach the uh, uh, the Knights of Saros because they aren't here. So they won't just like randomly show up to class, which I suppose makes sense. All right, I think with the do, I'm gonna go ahead and start building up his fist. So uh, yeah, let's go for it. Give me some grades, come on. I have. There we go. Boom. 
I've deepened. I have deepened my fisting ability. Don't say it like that. It's because you're riding up. I've learned. This. I've. Le this will be. Ah, you. just about there. All right, Mercedes, you are almost there with your freaking black magic. So, good girl. Oh my god! Oh, yeah! B plus! Get fucked! I'm getting much better. Alright, now let's keep uh, building up that uh, authority. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, Marianne. Build up your. Your faith? Build up your lances, Flame, just because I'm kind of curious to see maybe if you get like a magic lance ability or something. No need to discontinue with the praises. <laughs> Keep them coming, boyfriend. I am uh, hit and run. That is definitely not. I have done it. Okay. All right, folks, let's get your sword up some more. Okay. Looking good. Let's do it. Tell me something. Pretty soon I'll have eaten everything they have to offer in the dining hall. Then what am I supposed to do? Keep eating the same boring meals over again. You should try cooking something new. You could suggest a new dish of your own. Just enjoy what you got, you piece of shit. Um, could suggest a new dish of your own. Makes sense to me. Boom. Woo! Got it. Hey there, professor. Uh, Anna! Can't really make rec great recommendations on good when I don't understand their inherent value. I'd like to understand sores, so I better... Better focus on selling them. Uh, so just swords and bows. I'm probably never gonna use you, so no. <laughs> so don't let you do it. What what you want to do? Lend me your power. Lend me your power, Mr. Horse. Let's take care of it quickly. Let's take care of the poo quickly. We did well enough. Perfect. Ah, well enough, my ass. All right, uh, Ash is definitely gonna love that horse. And everybody else, yeah, not so much. Today is St. Saint Saros' Saint today. There'll be him in the recital. Will you participate? Sure. Bernie and Casper. Yeah. I'll sing so loud that my voice is gonna reach the sky. Fuck you, Saros! Can you hear me, you bitch? They won't notice if one person doesn't sing, will they? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh, you're so mischievous, Bernie. Uh, oh, cool. Was that me? The glory of progress. Yes, glory of progress. Recover. Neat. That's like the super healing move, I think. Super healing. Or, well, like medium healing. It's Rhea's birthday. Do you, would you like to buy flowers to celebrate? Oh, I guess it's all I can do. I can't take her out to tea. Sure. Why not? <laughs> I, I am grateful. Thanks. Then she just goes and tosses in the trash. Just waiting for you to get, let me get the A rank with you, Rhea. It's there. Oh, I'm still sad, though. In case you forgot. And I got any new supports. No, I don't. But in Casper, didn't do shit. <laughs> Fuck all of you. All right, so we actually got rare enemies approaching. Level 23. But I think I better focus on the paralogs for now. Um, but I think I am going to save that for next time, guys. I think uh, I am well enough into this video. <laughs> It's been a long time recording today. I spent actually a shit ton of time just trying to find people to match up with so I could progress further in their their support. So uh, I don't know if when I cut it all down, I, th I, th I think it'll still be a, a good size episode. I still spent a shit ton of time talking to everybody in the monastery, but um, then we'll be checking out some more of the paralogs here in uh, this next episode. But uh, anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe if you're not already become Piggy Penguin for the SLP where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And make sure to leave a like, guys. Leave a like for Sam Bissolid here. Okay? Just look at it. Look at the poor sad face. Oh, God. We got to help him get out of that funk. Don't worry, Bissolid. Next episode, we're going to go out and murder some motherfuckers. All right? And some demons. All right. You promise, Nico? Yes. We're totally going to do that. Okay. Okay. I'm going to hold you to it. But anyway, guys, as always, till next time, stay classy.